Hi, this is another problem on quadratic application. We'll have many of these kinds. Well, the question says a farmer has 800 meters of fencing to enclose a rectangular area divided into three sections. So first part says write an equation to express total area enclosed as a function of width. And then we'll find uh, domain and range and then we'll see the, the dimensions which are going to give us maximum area of the enclosure. So let's start with the first part, finding total area of this fence. So we have a fence here, let's draw a sketch. And, and divided into three sections, that means, let's say this is one division and this is another division, correct? So these are our three sections, correct? Now, what is the total fencing length? So these are all fences. So we can say, well, let the length be L and each may be of width W. That is how the fence is going to look like. And this total length of the fence which we have is 800 meters, right? So we can say this 800 meters is equal to L plus L, which is 2L plus 1, 2, 3, 4 W's, right? Right. Now, from here, write an equation to express total area, A W. So we want a function in W, enclosed as a function of width, right? So that means we should solve for L and write L in terms of width, right? And then we'll say area is length to width, correct? So we'll solve for L. So we get so we can divide by 2 all the things at present. So when we do that, we get 400 equals to L plus 2W, correct? So we simplified it by dividing by 2. Now from here, we can bring 2W here and we say 400 minus 2W equals to length L. So now we know L in terms of width, W. Now length is L. What is the area? Area is equals to length times width, correct? Of big enclosure. It's all three combined together, right? Now here, if we write length in terms of W, it becomes 400 minus 2W times W equals to area in terms of W, correct? So we get our function in terms of W. We can simplify it further by taking two common and rewrite this. Is it 2w equals to, so we factor out 2 from here, so we get 200 minus w. So that's our function, which represents area of this enclosure. Correct? Now we need to determine the domain of this area, area right? That's what we have to find. So we have to find domain of area function aw, right? So what is the value of width which we can have? So as you can see from this equation, if w is more than 200, then this factor will become negative, correct? So maximum value which w can have is 200. Is that okay? So why are we saying this? We have function aw equals to 2w times 200 minus W, right? Now, if W is more than width, that is 200, in that case, the area will become negative. Now, area can never be negative, right? Therefore, there is a limit on the width. So, we say that the width should be between 0 to 200, correct? That gives us the domain. So, here the domain is equal to we said width belongs to real numbers where it is between 0 and 200. Correct? That's how we get width. Now we have to determine the dimensions that give maximum area. So now to maximize AW, we can adopt different methods. Our function area as a function of width is, as we just did, 
टू डब्लू टाइम्स टू हंड्रेड माइनस डब्लू करेक्ट ना दीज आर टू फैक्टर्स एंड एज यू नो मिड वे बिटवीन द टू जीरोज वी विल गेट आवर लाइन ऑफ एक्सेस सिमेट्री एंड ऑन दैट एक्सेस ऑफ सिमेट्री वी विल गेट दर्ट एक्स सो वॉट आर दोज टू पॉइंट्स दोज टू पॉइंट्स आर एट वी नो जीरो एट डब्ल्यू इक्व टू जीरो और डब्ल्यू इक्व टू टू हंड्रेड इज इट ओके वील गेट आवर एक्सेस ऑफ सिमेट्री सो वी से एक्सेस ऑफ सिमेट्री इज मिड वे विच इज जीरो प्लस टू हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई टू which is equals to 100 is it okay so it's good to find the value of a at w 100 so a 100 is how much for us so we'll write replace this w with 100 2 times 100 times 200 minus 100 which is 2 times 100 times 100 so we get 2 One, two, three, four zeros, right? So that's our maximum area, correct? Okay? And the units are meter. So this will be so much meter here. So that's the maximum area. So determine the dimensions that give maximum area. So if they don't really want the maximum area; they want the dimensions. So now we know, for a width of hundred, we get maximum area. Now, if width is hundred, what is length? You know, length is equals to. 400 minus 2 width, which is 400 minus 2 times 100, which is 200. So the dimensions are length equals to how much? 200 meter and width. Equals to hundred meter. So that's our dimension. Now the last part is determine the range of the function a w. So range is from minimum to maximum area, right? Now, so for our function, the maximum could be two hundred. Correct. So we get range of which we just calculated, right? of area so let me write range a w belongs to real numbers where area is between zero and 200 uh, 20000 correct so that's our range so the maximum here is 20000 So that's the range, and zero is you can just put all the fans together in one one over the other, right? With a width of zero, okay? So that's how we get domain and range for these kinds of problems. Okay, thank you.